In this series of examples, we'll look at quite a few types of normal distribution type questions, and they're all based on this exam question. So in an exam, it's known that the distribution of marks is normally distributed with a mean of 51 and a standard deviation of 3.5. And then there's four questions, and in each of these videos, we'll look at one part each. So in the first one, we're just going to look at part A. What proportion of marks will exceed 54? I've already got my diagram drawn here. It's useful to mark in the things that we know. So the mean point at the center is 51. I'm looking for what proportion of marks will exceed 54. If 51's here, then 54 will be, let's say, there. So I'm looking for the proportion of marks that exceeds that, and that's the part shown by my shaded area here. I need to find a z-score and standardize this. So it's always the value we're looking for minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. If you use a calculator to find that, then 54 minus 51, which is 3, divided by 3.5. So 0 0.85714. I'll need to look this up in the table. I can't look up that many decimal places, so we round it to two decimal places. That's 0 0.86. Um, we use the capital letter Greek phi to say I'm going to look up this value in the table. 0 0.86 in the formula book. So I get the first decimal place here, 0 0.8. And then reading across to get the 6 as well, 0.86. So cross-referencing those two, that gives me an area of this one here, 0.80511. So that was 0.80511. If you go back to the table though, You'll see there's always that picture at the top. It shows you that the area given is the shaded area to the left of the line. And in mine, I don't want that. I don't want the bit on the left. I want the part on the right. So using the fact that a normal distribution always has a total area of 1, I'm just going to go that the area I want is 1 minus 0.80511. And that's 0 0.194. Eight, nine, which you would probably round to three significant figures. And that's it for this time.